Kids and with the Licking Park District. Uh, this is the second activity that goes with the Nature Journal activity that has to do with constellations in the night sky. So we're going to do a star wheel. And what you need for this are scissors, the, print, the two sheets printed out, and then tape or stapler. I don't have staplers, so I'm going to use tape today. And what you want to do is cut out um, the, the actual outer part of your star wheel viewer. So we're going to cut out this shape here. Now, it's okay if it's not perfect, but I'll try to go a little slower so I stay close to the line. So you're going to cut out around. And then when you get down to this point, you'll see that depending on how your printer is, it'll either have a line across or these lines will end. And at about that point, you want to cut across. And then the tricky part is we're also going to cut this part out. So I like to give a little fold just lightly so I can start my cut like that. And then I'm going to come up and I'm going to cut out the circle. Okay, so that sheet is done. You've cut that out. And then on this side of things, you want to cut out the white circle all the way around. So now we're ready to put it together. You're going to fold along this line. So you fold back the white part. And if I flip this over, you're going to see these two little marks here. That would be if you have a stapler. But if you have tape, it'll work too. So I'm going to take a little piece of tape, and it can be any kind of tape you want. And I'm just going to start it here and wrap it around. And I'm going to do the other side. So this is going to create a pocket for you to put your star wheel in. And then you take your star wheel, or the night sky, and you just put it in the pocket here. So there you've completed that part. Now you need to read the star wheel. So there's a few things to look for. Around the outer edge you have times. One's in white, one's in yellow. The yellow is for daylight savings time, so in the summer months and where we are right now. Then you also have directions on each side of the circle here. So you want to pick a time that you're going to go outside and what day it is. You can see the dates, the calendar out here on the wheel. So let's say you're going to go outside at 9 o'clock in the evening tonight. So you're going to turn the wheel so I'm making this video on April uh, 16th, I think. Days are running together, I'm sure everyone kind of knows how that is right now. And so I'm going to go out at 9 p.m. at April 16th. So the stars that are in the window are the stars that are going to be in the night sky tonight. Okay, so now to use your star wheel outside, what you want to do is figure out which direction you're facing. And you can see again, the directions are here in yellow along the oval. So right now, for instance, I am facing east. So as I'm out looking at the night sky, I would turn this so that facing east is right side up and it's to the bottom. And then this is the night sky that I'm looking up 
and seeing. So you want to hold it this way. So if I were to turn around and be facing west, I would then be looking at it this way, but I'd be looking this way, if that makes sense. Um, so with that, I hope you put one of these together and on a clear night coming up, head on out to your backyard or somewhere where you, there's not much light that you can see the night sky and try out your star wheel. Have fun.